minus 120 seconds. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus one minute, 55 seconds and counting. The countdown looks good as we continue toward T zero. CVC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. Minus 90 seconds. One minute and Minus 20 seconds. Second stage secure at flight level. Second stage LH2 securing started. ROC report range go for launch. Ranges go. LC, go for launch. Roger, go for launch. Minus 60 seconds. Engine start box, go. Minus 50. Minus 45 seconds. Watch enable, enable. GE main power off. Main power off. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. Minus 30. Green board. Minus 25 seconds. Flight lock in. T minus 15. Igniter 14. Arm. 13, Row peak, 12, initiate. 11, 10. T minus 10, 9, nine 8, yes, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition two, of the main engines. 1, 0. We one, have liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Go Alliance water, Delta activate. 4 heavy rocket carrying the NROL 49 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. This marks the first West Coast Delta 4 heavy launch. Okay, we're going to pick up post lift securing net 15. Recovering nicely from the initial launch transients. 40 seconds in. Standing by for the partial thrust command to go to the core booster. And you are hearing the voice of Steve Agate, and he's providing launch vehicle ascent data. As we're passing one minute and four seconds into the flight, good engine control. Coming up one minute, 19 seconds. Mark, one minute, 19 seconds. Now at max two, maximum dynamic pressure. Now at one minute, 24 seconds. Mach one, vehicle now going transonic. Passing one minute, 32 seconds. Altitude now is 7.8 nautical miles. Velocity, 1,677 feet per second. Downrange uh, distance continues to look good. One minute, 42 seconds in. Chamber holding, uh, chamber pressure is continuing to look good, holding very well in the port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode and in the core, a good core chamber pressure level in the partial thrust mode. Mission events are occurring very, very uh, close to the expected time. Hydrazine uh, system pressurization has now begun on the second stage. Passing two minutes, 10 seconds in. Engine steering uh, very, very good. Very little movement. Coming up on the two minutes, 25 seconds mark. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Altitude now passing 20 nautical miles. Velocity 3,233 feet per second. Coming up on 243, mark 2 minutes 43 seconds, the Delta IV vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch about 2 minutes 50 seconds ago as we're expelling propellant at the rate of 4,700 pounds per second. Coming up on 3 minutes into the flight, 
Mark, three minutes in, still looking good. Chamber pressure is continuing to hold rock solid on the port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode and a good uh, partial thrust reading in the core booster. Engine control continues to look good. Very little movement. Coming up on three minutes, 20 seconds, Mark. We have about one half minute before the port and starboard boosters get uh, toggled down to their partial thrust levels. 20 seconds until that event. Altitude now passing 45 nautical miles, a velocity 8,600 feet per second. Standing by for the partial thrust command. And we have the partial thrust command. Chamber pressure is now beginning to drop in the port and starboard boosters, leveling out. All three boosters now in the partial thrust mode. And we have Miko in the port and starboard boosters and separation. Core booster now has uh, powered up into the full power mode again. And we just heard Steve Agate confirm jettison of the port and starboard common booster cores. And the mission continues nominally at this point. Our next event is MECO, or main engine cutoff, and that'll take place a little less than a minute from now. At this point, let's go back to Steve Agate. 85 uh, nautical miles, velocity 14,000 feet per second. Coming up on the five minute mark into the flight. Mark, five minutes in, about 20 seconds until we expect to go to the partial thrust mode again in the, the core booster. Okay, now in partial thrust mode in the core, standing by for Miko. And we have Miko. Main engine has cut off. Standing by for SEP. And we have separation. And we have NEDS. The nozzle is deploying, and we have igniter spark standing by for ignition, and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage, chamber pressure is beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure in the second stage. Good engine control on the second stage. Standing by for fairing SEP. We have fairing SEP. Bearing has separated. This is Delta Mission Control. Uh, six minutes, 25 seconds into the mission. And we've just seen the successful liftoff of the NROL 49 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. And again, this was the first West Coast Delta IV heavy launch. And all systems continue to operate nominally at this point. Liftoff occurred at 1.10 p.m. Pacific time. And at this point, I'd like to thank Steve Agad for his support of this afternoon's broadcast. At the request of our customer, this does conclude today's coverage of the NROL 49 launch for the National Reconnaissance Office. For more information about the Delta IV Heavy, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. Again, ulalaunch.com. On behalf of the entire launch team, I'm Doug Shores. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great day. And before we go, we want to leave you with one final look at this afternoon's liftoff. We have liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket carrying the NROL 49 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. This marks the first West Coast Delta IV heavy launch. Okay, we're going to pick up post lift securing at 15.
recovering nicely from the initial launch transients. 40 seconds in. Standing by for the partial thrust command to go to the core booster. And you are hearing the voice of Steve Agate, and he's providing launch vehicle ascent data. As we're passing one minute and four seconds into the flight. Good engine control. 